Hey y'all, it's Drew here. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Let's go. No, I'm just playing. It's Drew. We're here with LA Bully Quartel. Uh, we're here to give y'all a tour of our facilities. Our crib, for real. We live with our dogs. We do this every day, man. Del Rayleigh Designs. Sorry, we out here on the highway, guys. Del Rayleigh Designs, some of the baddest floors you'll ever see, I promise you. Concrete restoration, concrete design, epoxy floors, and home of LA Bullet Cartel. We got it out here big on the road. Uh, we live in a small town, Hartford, Alabama, but we are on the main road. We love it. People are friendly. Everybody's friendly. You can leave your door unlocked. You can leave your car keys in your car. You know, the whole Southern hospitality thing. We're going to get y'all a tour. Let's go. Y'all see? Uh, our compound sits on about two acres of land. Uh, it gives us plenty of room to always improve, always get better. We have three main buildings. We have the doll building. We have the concrete building in our showroom. This is also where we live. Uh, I told you guys, we live here. We live with our dogs. And then we have our clubhouse. Uh, we're going to show you all our complete dog run behind the buildings. We'll show you our storage area, just, you know, extra space. I'm going to show you every little thing. You're getting us sneak peek, all access at our compound. I, I mean, no, no bars held. We live here. We're human. We're, hell, only men live here. So, you know, y'all bear with us on that tilt. First thing we got, as soon as you come in, we got the show ring. We built this for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to train our dogs, guys. It does work now. It does help out uh, with puppies. You know, when you have a litter of puppies that have gotten both rounds of shots and, and are starting to get out, you know, it, it helps. You know, we can let them out here. They're in a fence separated from the other dogs, separated from where the other dogs use the bathroom. All we got to do is make sure we, we clean it really well and we uh, spray it out with K-Land, which kills Parvo, kills uh, kennel cough, all that. Hell, it might kill coronavirus. We don't know. Uh, I'll show y'all a clip of us working some dogs. We did install lights. So we can work dogs any time of the day. Uh, there's been, okay. hey, let's go work some dogs at one in the morning. We go grab some dogs, we cut on the lights, we come out here and we work. You know, it, it don't ever stop, but the practice ring, everybody loves it. We love it. It gives us, you know, it teaches our dogs, you know, as soon as we, we try to teach them, you know, when we go in the ring to work, and then we come out, we let them out, let them run around, let them play. You know, it tries to just teach them that little bit of showmanship, that little bit of when they're going in the ring, they need to work. Does it always work? Hell no. They're dogs. They all have different personalities, same as we do. And guys, we, I've been doing shows for maybe five years. Yeah, five years last month. Uh, there's a lot of people a lot better at this. There's people with better facilities. There's handlers way better. And I don't claim to know a lot about dogs. Hell, it, a lot of things, if I don't know, I have mentors that I call, and that's, I can't stress enough the value of a mentor, especially in the show ring, especially in the show atmosphere, because it just, to me, you can study all you want, you can, you know, look at pads, but nothing, nothing beats experience. I, it's just my personal opinion. Uh, so let's keep, let's keep going on the, the, the tour, guys. If you look over here, we just, this is basically our open part of our compound. Uh, Chippy calls this little concrete spot over here the burnout spot. That's where he likes to burn out all the vehicles. He'll, he'll put them in part, hold the brakes, and go. If You see, you can kind of see the black marks all the way down. We can. Yeah, you can. So you can kind of see all the black marks all the way down. That's from Mr. Chip, you know, being Chip. We got our trailers, our work trailers, L.A. Bully Cartel, Del Rayleigh Design. Uh, we're missing two, I think, but... That's where we park our trailers, you know, eventually, if you can see, you can't see, but right past the burn pile, all the way to about where the trailers are is where our newest building is gonna go. Uh, it's gonna be straight for studs, straight for our males. Uh, we're actually gonna call it the stud barn and we're gonna end up making it look like a barn. Uh, come on. All the way, you see we're kinda, we kinda filled up on cars today. First place I'm gonna take you into is the dog building. I mean, why not? Let's jump straight right into it. Uh, call it the dog house. I mean, obvious reasons, guys. We need a better sign, but you know, we did this when we first moved in it, and it's kind of now like a, you know, one of those grandfathered in things where we don't really want to mess with it because it's always, you know, it's always been the dog house and all the crazy letters. 
Uh, we got a little puppy pen over here. Uh, we use it for our, our little puppies, same as the show ring sometimes. Uh, we just kind of evolve them to the show ring when they get a little older. It's nothing special, guys. It's literally garden fence panels from Home Depot that we just put together just to make a little space. Sometimes that's all it is, is just making a little space for it. Come on. Uh, show you all this. Boom. It's dirty, but you get the point. L.A. In case of emergencies, save our pets. Always. You know. Fuck us. Don't worry, don't worry about us. Just save our pets. All right. All right. Show them the floor, bro. Show them the floor. Floor is done by Del Ready Designs. This is a epoxy reflector enhancer floor. And man, it works great for our showroom. Just back up, show them the floor and then back up into the awards, bro. And man, it's just, I love it. Jeremy put me on this, and, and ever since I've been working with him and then partnered up with him, I love our floors. I love them. Show Cho this time. We got an old bullet feet that's going last night. Show our central unit, guys, and, and it's a five ton unit. It controls our whole building. Uh, it works pretty good. During the summers, it lags a little bit, but it keeps it relatively clean in here, especially with the new insulation we've done. Uh, guys, these buildings, when we started, when we got this place, these buildings were bare. Uh, we took a lot of pride in it. I mean, I knew I always wanted, I always wanted great facilities for my dogs, and we did that. Uh, you know, we, we just made it come true. Yeah, it was expensive. It was hard work. A lot of people helped out, uh, but we made it happen. But we have our sensor unit, but we also have backup window units. And during the summer, you know, sometimes if the central AC does, can't keep up because it's just, you know, 103 degrees out here, humidity is horrible, we have the window units as backup. You know, I've lost dogs to an air conditioner that quit working. And I didn't find out until I got home from work and it was too late, the dog, the dog was dead. And I told myself that wouldn't happen no more. The next step is we're going to get a standby generator. That way if we ever lose power in the middle of the summer, the standby generator kicks on and at least powers the air conditioners. We live in Alabama, we live in Southern Alabama, you know, August it's 102 with 80% humidity, 90% humidity, it is scorching. You walk outside, you start sweating immediately. And it's horrible on, especially our breed of dogs. You know, especially if they have breathing problems, they're a little more bully or whatever. You know, you gotta look out for them. That was, you know, half the reason of this place. Couple puppy pins. These are usually our puppies coming back from pick of the litters or, uh, you know, coming from somebody else, puppies that we purchased. They usually go here first, kind of get them used to the dog building. Uh, let's continue. We put these drains in ourselves. It was a pain in the butt, guys. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Uh, we put every kennel up ourselves. We built these walls. We painted these walls. Yes, the dogs have chewed them. But hey, guys, I mean, dogs are gonna be dogs. Uh, we tried dog beds. We tried over 10 different brands. The dogs chew them up. Point blank period, they tear them up. We tried. Uh, set every kennel up, bolted them to the walls. Put them right there at the drain. Come on, bud, let's go. We got our boards. You know, we have our employees, Evan and Bree. They're wonderful. Couldn't do this without them. Uh, have our board, you know, the, the daily mop scheduled, our supplies needed, dog food. We do use sports mix wholesomes, our freezer of raw. And the drains actually, show them the corner of the drains, the drains actually go outside, guys, then run back into the yard into a septic tank. So they're actually drains. We flush them, we clean them. Gotta keep a fan, y'all know how that is. Any dog person knows how that is. We got more kennels, we just set up a couple more kennels, guys, because until we get the new building made, I was just running a little bit out of room. You know, uh, got our puppy pens. These are usually our puppies off of our litters that come in, uh, you know, the, the, the rest of the litter's gone, they've got their shots, they're ready, get their ears cropped, they, they, they stay in here until they do. 
Got our supply shelf. Like I said, guys, it ain't the most organized right now, but we're showing y'all everything in the raw. You know, this is uh, all access, no hole bars. View it all place, bro. And we're not perfect, right? And we're not just gonna set up stuff and look perfect on film. You know, we're, we're gonna be always be real. We're always gonna do our best, and that's all we can do. Come on, let's go look back here. Another backup, another backup window unit. Got some more, more kennels set up in here. Like, show me insulation, Brad. Like, we got all this insulation spray, guys. I mean. You know, this, like I said, this building was bare. We eventually do want to get these doors covered up, but they do help out when we're really cleaning, when we're, you know, pressure washing. Uh, floor panels, the floors, once again, done by Del Rayle Designs. This is an epoxy uh, reflector enhancer floor. Uh, we set up, this is our, basically, if you come in here, guys, this, if you can pretty much tell by the colors, this is basically our mothers and girls in heat room uh got the couch to chill if you're on puppy duty you know get you a nap before you wake up every two hours any dog person knows what i'm doing what i'm talking about we put the window here guys to kind of make it like a hospital so you know if we have puppies in here you can just walk up to the window and view the puppies you know kind of like a, a nursery when your babies are just born you know you can walk up to the window and see them in the crib i thought it was a cool idea this is our medical room, also our whelping room. Uh, two rooms, they have motion control lights on them, uh, so they stay on pretty much any time you need them to. Uh, this is where we keep our litters, you know, our freshborn puppies. Mothers expecting about to give birth go in here as well. Uh, we got our medical, medical supplies, you know, hardware supplies, complete medical drawers. Everything has something in it, everything has a use. Uh, we have our incubator, fridge for our shots, you know, for our medicines that require to be chilled. Uh, you know, we could be better organized, guys, but sometimes there's organization in the unorganization, if that makes sense. You know, I'm one of those people where I might not have everything organized, but I usually remember where I put it last. And so if it gets organized and moved, I'm like, well, well I can't find it now. Where did it go? And that's, you know, that's a flaw, but hey, it's my flaw. I own it. So let's, let's see if we can get some more stuff going, Bray. But this is our main dog building, guys. This is our main kennel setup. We are working on, a, like I said, just a stud barn. But for the majority of the part, this is where, you know, this is where the dogs stay. And man, to be honest with you, I know a lot, I know a lot of people that are living worse. So we're very blessed. We're very thankful to be able to do what we do, to be able to do all this. I've uh, been blessed in my life. We continue to be blessed, you know. We, we're thankful for it, guys. I mean, I, I don't ever mean to sound cocky if I do. I try to be as humble as possible. Same way we built all this, we can all be taken away in a day. No, life can be taken away in a day. So just be, we're thankful for every day we have here, and we're thankful for everything we have. So let's go, guys. It's been raining. Right on time. Oh, rainy day in South Alabama, guys. All right, this is our concrete building and our showroom. We'll get to that in just a second, guys. I'm just going to take you down a trip, you know, down the lane right here. We have the dog washing station. Once again, guys, none of this was here. The concrete was here. This was. But besides that, none of this was here. Uh, our dog bath and station, you know, the guy get baths before a show. We put the roof over it so, you know, in case days like today. Yeah, you're still going to get wet, but you're giving the dog a bath. So what can you expect? Well, we got a bathe to our shop for the concrete. Uh, we got a dumpster back here. Uh, a whole lot of random dog stuff, dog houses, dog kennels. But any dog person, y'all know how that is. Uh, this is our dog run, guys. Basically, when we let dogs out, we bring them back here. We let them in. You know, everything's stocked up. They can't get nowhere. We have the, the tiki bar right there. It does need to be redone this spring, but we're just getting into spring, guys. We're just getting everything done, getting everything cleaned up and ready for the summer and it to be beautiful and all that. That is those two automatic waterers. Uh, over there at Tiki Bar. That's basically all it is, guys. We want it to look fun, look like a little bar, but all it is is two automatic waters. 
so the dogs always can have water when they're in the run. Uh, if you can see, the run goes all the way through and all the way to the other side. And that's to the bully beach. We're going to show you that in just a second, guys. In fact, let's we'll walk over there now. We got extra storage back here, uh, an RV hookup back here, a spot. This, this basically bay right here is meant for like if we had an RV, and you know, to hook it up, whatever, blase, blase. We use it as a car wash bay for, you know, chipper clean. He, he, he does the best detail and the best wax jobs, killer wax that I've ever seen. And he uses this as kind of like his, his washing bay. We use a semi truck as extra storage, all our dog stuff, all our extra stuff. Y'all know how that goes. Let's walk on around here and look at this bullet beach. All right, guys, as we're walking, we did do this concrete. This is called our Busted the Beautiful design. What we do is this is mainly for if you have cracked slabs, if you have busted up concrete, we take the cracks and turn them into the grout lines and put them in the design and make this look like stones with grout line designs. And man, it works great if you know you just have that ugly patio outside that's all cracked and busted. Uh, Y'all please don't, don't mind me smoking. I am over 21 years of age. Today is my birthday. So, you know, I'm smoking a cigarette, guys. I drink 12 of these a day. If Dunkin' Donut ever watches this video, please send us endorsements or sponsorship or something, guys. I will blow you out the water. Let's do this. Come on, Brandon. You see all the stickers, guys? We'll take y'all in the showroom in just a second. Show y'all, you know, where we stay and where we hang out. Uh, Del Rayleigh Designs. Grand Champion Jaws. Champion Loso. We also have the Showmobile. Show them the Showmobile, Brad. We Woo! also have the Showmobile. Found and negotiated by Mr. Brad Staley. <laughs> Got Champion Loso. Grand Champion Jaws. And guys... We want to say we literally bought this just for dog shows. We traveled so much, traveled to so many shows, and went to so many places. We were putting miles on my truck and Jeremy's truck, my car and Jeremy's truck. You know, there's no point in wearing and tearing our personal trucks all over the country. So we went and got a vehicle just for it. You know, I mean, in all honesty, you know, people are like, oh, we, you know, the money or something. But in all honesty, guys, we're saving money. We're keeping the value of our trucks, keeping miles off our truck, putting gas in one vehicle instead of two. Chevrolet, if y'all want to endorse us as sponsors, that's great too. Uh, we got our burn pit over here, guys. Uh, it's irrelevant, but we've had some good times. I'm going to show y'all a clip of Mr. Chip Coin Jr. jumping in the fire. We got some backlash for that, but you know what? Who cares? Do you care? I don't care. All right. We'll show y'all the clubhouse in a minute, guys. This is our, you know, our hangout, the, the real clubhouse. And we got the double gates, guys, just so we can redo this beach every spring, you know, after the winter. We'll show y'all some before and after videos so y'all can see the transformation, you know, that takes place every day. You can see Mr. Jeremy Bayless playing with all the dogs. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. See guys, this is this is what we love doing. This is the stuff you see everybody out here has a smile on their face. Literally everybody has a smile on their face right now. And man, this is it doesn't get no better than this. This is why I said we're so thankful, so blessed. But this is our LA, LA Bully Cartel Beach. Fat boy, get out of the way to sign. You see LA Bully Beach. We have Mr. Jamarcus Williams, aka Fat Boy. We have Mr. Uh, uh, Devin, right? Mr. Devin. He helps us with the sand out. Much appreciation to him because he, he brought this load of sand in for us today to redo the speech. The one and only Mr. Jeremy Bayless of Bayless Galleries and Del Rayleigh Designs. My business partner and friend. Mr. Evan, I'm with it, Craig. Always with it. Uh, of Dollhouse Kennels, part of L.A. Bully Cartel, our employee here. This man, we cannot do anything without this man right here. Because this man right here takes care of our dogs while we're at trips. He cleans up our kennels every day. He feeds. He does everything. He gives medicines, checks our litters. Like, 
much appreciation to this man right here. Him and his uh and and his uh, and his uh old lady, Bree or Bree. Yep. Couldn't do it without them two. Absolutely at all. Not. Like they're so so thankful to have them. This is the clown of the group. Not the clown like honk honk nose clown, like clown on Brad clown. I'm the clown like he got some tight jeans on clown. Ah, ah. <laughs> But guys, this is this is what we do, and we do want to put some. We know we'll get some, you know, feedback for it. We do want to put some. No, come this way. Don't come this way. We do want to put some stuff on the back side of these fences, you know, to take away the wood, kind of like what's over here, next to where the run starts. And y'all can see the run goes all the way back, guys. It goes all the way back to the other side where the tiki bar was. But this is my favorite part of this whole place. And this is, it is a pool, guys. Uh, we had it custom made. Back here, it was nothing but, Jeremy, what was this before? Rocks? Nothing but rock pit? This was nothing but straight. We built all the fence, guys. You can still we did everything. We had some spots, and there's probably a yep. foot, foot and a half of rock. Yep. We did, I mean, we, we put all the fence in, guys, for the runs. We laid the side. We didn't, but we had it done. We laid the sod, had the sand brought in, had the pool formed out. Uh, the pool is just deep enough, about human right below the waist. It's just deep enough where if the dogs want to swim, swim, they can. But if they couldn't swim or it was an emergency, they could, you know, basically bounce off the bottom. And it's not too deep where they couldn't just bounce off the bottom until they got somewhere they can touch. And that's only one part right there in the middle of the pool that is deep enough to swim. We personally believe sand and swimming are two of the best exercises for an American bully, especially for that rear end. Uh, and we, you know, we've been focusing a lot on our rear ends. And man, the beach, we've gotten rid of cow hawks almost completely just from bringing a dog out here and running around the pool in the sand. And it helps so much, guys. But let's continue the tour, sir. Letting them have their fun. This is our clubhouse, guys, and we still are under work on the, the back here. We're going to make it look like big barn doors. Uh, you open up floors, once again done by Del Rayleigh Designs. We call this the Shark Tank floor. Stone, busted a beautiful design going through. Uh, wood, wood dock, uh, pathway around with the water, epoxy reflector of the floors in between with our fishes and our sharks and our octopuses and stingrays. And guys, this is basically just where we chill. This is our hangout. We got the music, we got the PlayStation, we got the TV to watch football, we got the weight set, you know, get our workouts in so we ain't gotta pay no membership, no gym, we got the pool table. Right well. Oh, okay. I don't think you'll make that. Sweet. Yeah. Damn. Little spot for the kids. Uh, we did the wall right here, guys. Uh, all we did, and this is straight, looks like flowers still. What we did is straight burned, sanded, and burned this and then cleared over it and put our design in it and cleared over that. And it looks cool as hell to me. I mean, some people might not think so, but to me it's different. We love different. We don't like having the same things as everybody else. You know, we think outside the box sometimes. It was a cheap and easy and it looks cool. I mean, you know, so why not, do it, you know? So let's go guys. This is just the LA Bully Cartel hangout. This is where we hang, where we chill, just have a good night, have a couple drinks, you know. Everybody gotta have a grill. I mean, is it really, is it really a compound without a grill? If you can't come out here and grill some steaks after you champ out a dog, do you really have a dog compound? Think about that. All right, guys. Into the showroom. Once again, floors done by Del Rayleigh Designs. We have the concrete hardwood design going through the middle and the purple epoxy floors around. Uh, we have our t-shirts, we have Jeremy's artwork here, man, Jeremy is a talented, talented guy, uh, he's great at this, you know, he's great at what he does, 
Men's back then, like, like we said before, guys, these buildings were bare. Everything you see, we did. I mean, there was, this building right here had the offices and walls built already, but we finished it, painted it, did the floors, did pretty much everything else. Started a mural. Started a mural. You can see Jeremy's mural right here. We got the one and only gunslinger, Clint Eastwood, Elvis Presley, God bless the dead, Spider-Man, Burt Reynolds, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, he's doing Ray Charles right here, Willie Nelson, Wolverine, and a couple wolves, because, you know, dogs, wolves, and we, we love it. Uh, this is where we do pretty much all our videos for YouTube. You know, if you see the intros and outros, this is pretty much where we're doing them. Uh, we thought, that, you know, we did the purple floors because this purple carpet was already here. Uh, we thought it looked really cool, and I still do. Uh, check out our offices, guys. And y'all excuse, you know, Jeremy's airbrush equipment. Like we said, everything's a work in progress. We got our airbrush on the walls. Jeremy did the Deadpool and the Harley Quinn, which looks just badass. He's got his Del Rey logo, and I have my Rage and J. Kennels logo with the L.A. Bully Cartel logo, you know, put together. I, I really appreciate him for doing that. It looks dope. This is me and his, you know, desk and office. Uh, let's go look at our secretary. And Brad, if you can, show him the floor too, because this is different. Different, still a pots and reflector, guys. But, you know, and the cool thing about these floors, guys, is we can make them look like whatever you want. We can put whatever you want in them. Uh, we got the blue in here. This is our secretary's office. Uh, currently don't have a secretary, but, you know, it happens. But we will get one again. Uh, we had a great one. She had some health issues, and, and we love her to death. And hope for a full recovery. Well, let's go check out. Let's go check out uh, the other other stuff. And guys, you'll see. You know, we got T-shirts over here, the artwork, and you'll see like leads laying around, origin. You'll see all that type of stuff. I mean, like I said, we live here. We do the dogs every day. You know. There's going to be dog leashes laying around everywhere. There's, there might be a pile of pee laying around somewhere from the eight dogs that we have out, you know, in here during the day at least. Uh, we have our kitchen. Uh, excuse the mess, guys. But we have our, our kitchen countertops and cabinets done with the epoxy enhancer all, all, uh, as well. Uh, this is basically where we're at most nights, hanging out, just talking, planning. This is... It's not round, but it's basically our round table. You know, this is where we have our meetings, where we, we plan stuff out. We decide what we're going to do. What yeah. time we're going to leave for a show on what, Friday. Yeah, what time, you know, Thursday at 2 a.m. We're deciding, you know, when we're leaving Friday at 7 a.m. for a show. <laughs> Danger, do not answer. This is just for y'all now. Strictly, you know, I even had Jeremy like, bro, you're going to show them the shop and everything. And I was like, man, look, we're doing it all access. Like, you know, we're showing everything. Everything about bedrooms, because that's just kind of weird. <laughs> but this is our shop, guys. This is for the concrete. This is for Del Rayleigh Designs, or for basically any time. I mean, you can show them, Brad. I mean, we run a business, guys. Everything's not spick and spam. Everything's not organized. We, in fact, just cleaned out all three of our trailers, our work trailers, you know. We run a business. We do, you know, the dogs every weekend, business during the week. You know, it's going to look like this. This is real life. This isn't, you know, just for a camera. This isn't, you know, just us trying to flex. This is real life. I mean, wash machine dryer. That's why you see clothes, boxes, you know, laundry baskets. Because that's, you know, this is where we do our laundry. This is where we live. And if you look up here, Brad, show them up here. And we got a three-bedroom apartment. Yeah, just come this way a little bit. There's a three-bedroom apartment up here, guys. And that's really, man, to be honest with you, that was the final thing that sold us. On this property was the three bedroom. We were like, man, we could have a doll facility, have a shop for the concrete business that Jeremy's never had. He's never had an actual, you know, shop shop, showroom, you know, for the artwork. We could have all of that with the doll facilities and we could live here with our dogs. No brainer, bro. As I said before, guys, I mean, we're always renovating. We're always, you know, trying to improve this place, trying to get better. We always got to add more room. Anybody that's been in the dog game for a while knows you always need more room. Uh, we actually plan, like I said, our new stud building is going here. So hopefully by this time next year, we'll be able to show you all that. Uh, going over, Bradley, we're going to make, between the dog building and the show ring, 
go between the dog building. Yeah, right there where those cars, where all the cars are parked, guys. Uh, we're actually going to be building an obstacle course. You know, we wanted, we thought that'd be really cool to be able to, you know, have for our puppies and younger dogs is to run them through an obstacle course, basically a dog playground. And then we're also going to make an actual puppy playground as well. So hopefully, I mean, in a couple months, we'll be able to show you all that because it shouldn't take us too long once we get, you know, the itch in our butt to make it happen. Uh, over here, we, we're even planning on, guys, we're even planning on right there between the fence and the show ring in that country, we're even planning on making that a little basketball court, a little one goal basketball court. We all have kids, we all love our kids. Hell, we all like getting out here talking crap and just shooting the ball around, you know? I hope you enjoyed it. I really, I really enjoyed, you know, taking y'all on the tour. Like I said, man, I've said it a hundred times, I'll say it a hundred more. We're blessed to be able to do this. We're blessed for everything we have and really thankful. Uh, we plan on keep going hard, hitting every show, throwing shows, trying to set you know we take example from our mentors we take example from you know the people that we learn from and that help better the breed and all we can do is try to continue that uh, we really hope y'all enjoyed it guys please give us a like and share subscribe to us hey we do what we love man and we love doing it so until next time i'm Drew brad behind the camera everybody out here at la bully cartel we love y'all God bless. Peace.